Okay, hello everyone, this is Rajani, and um, I'm back with another quick video. Um, I just want to do a quick little review, my thoughts and how I feel about um, the Spring Valley High School assault. So, if you guys haven't heard the, the news or the story, um, a 16 year old girl was assaulted by um, a resource police officer in South Carolina. Um, so, a 16 year old girl was at school and she was assaulted by a police officer. Um, she was asked to be removed out of the classroom by her teacher because she was being disruptive in class. She wasn't participating and she was on her phone. Okay. And so they called the police officer, the resource police officer to come and have her removed. He gets there. She doesn't, um, um, comply with, with what the officer is saying. So he takes matters into his own hands, literally. And f when I say he flung and slung and dragged and pulled and tossed her out of that desk to remove her and put handcuffs on her, that's exactly what he did. Okay. And I'm not, I'm not here for none of that. Okay. I'm not here for none of that. And I'm going to explain why. Okay. A lot of people are out here saying, well, what's wrong with these kids nowadays? Um, if she would have listened, then this wouldn't happen. And Raven, why do you have cell? Why do kids have cell phones? Why is she on her phone? She should have listened. She should have. I'm not about to blame this little girl for, 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 for this resource police officer behavior. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Point is, should she have had her phone? No, she shouldn't. It's school. She should be paying attention. She should be. When the teacher asks her to leave, should she have left? Absolutely. Yes, she should have left. You know, she should have did everything that teacher told her to do just because she's the student. He's the teacher and she's here to learn. And if she was being disruptive, I would ask her to leave too, you know, and she refused. And so they called the officer on her. And the officer, I feel like because she wasn't complying with him, he felt his ego was being bruised. Yet again, this is what happens with all these cops. When their ego is getting bruised, they, in their ego, their ego is being bruised. I mean, bru I can't even talk. When their ego is being abused or whatever you want to call it, um, they just decide they want to go ham. And they just don't give a care. Like I'm the authority and you're going to listen to me because I'm going to make you listen to me. And my problem with this is this officer, first off, I have a couple of things wrong with this. This officer is a resource police officer. His job, his job is to deescalate situations. His job is to handle, to be able to handle youth in a unique way. You know what I'm saying? Like his job is there to help them. They shouldn't fear him. You know, if they have any problems, they should be able to go to him. They should be able to talk to him. They should be able to, to, to work it out with him. You know what I'm saying? Because he's trained in this area to deal with youth. And that's what makes him different from police officer, regular police officers. Because he's trained to deal with youth. We all know how youth can be mouthing off. We all know that youth have, have a lot of attitude. We know this, especially in, in high school. We've been there before. We all, been, we all have been youth before. So we know how, how the youth can get. You know what I'm saying? So it's just the fact that this man was trained in these areas. And that's what makes him so unique is because he should know how to deal with with situations like this and the fact that he just absolutely failed is extremely disturbing to me it's extremely disturbing to me and come to find out he has history of using excessive force on somebody you know so it's just really disturbing. It's really, 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 really super duper disturbing. That video literally sent chills up my body. And I couldn't imagine, 
I couldn't imagine being handled like this, especially, oh, and I didn't say this. And he's a football coach. He's assistant football coach. And he's a strength training coach. Like, come on, dude. This is a 16-year-old. A 16-year-old girl. <laughs> like, you could have handled this situation. The fact that you're trained to handle this these type of situations and you completely did not handle this situation right. There were so many different ways that you could have handled the situation. You didn't even have to put your hands on her. If you wanted to, you could just drag the chair on up out the classroom and then dealt with the situation. But the fact that you decided to humiliate her in front of her whole classroom, I don't give a damn what she did prior to, to that. You wrapped her arms around your arms around her neck, a 16 year old. And slung her, flung her, her and the desk across the whole classroom. And none of the kids wanted to say nothing because they was petrified. And the fact that the teacher stood there and didn't say anything, it bo it, it bothers me too. Yes, you kicked her out and she probably was getting on your damn nerves. But that behavior from the officer was not right. I don't know. Now, one person that if you say you watched that video and you didn't, your skin didn't cringe, then something's wrong with you. Something's wrong with you. And what this officer did was completely out of line. And I'm so glad that he, he he's fired. At first, they had a case pending. They had to uh, follow procedures and go through, investigate. Ain't no investigation. Then ain't no need for investigation. She didn't touch him. She didn't touch him. And some people want to say, oh, she punched him in the face. Come on, for real. Come on now, for real. She punched him in the face. Yeah, after he didn't put his arm around her neck and about to throw her to the ground, her and the desk. Like, come on, I'm so glad he's fired. And, and for the people that's blaming her, fuck off. For real, for real, because... My whole problem is he's trained to deal with situations like this. He's trained to deal with the youth. And then his name, his nickname at the school is Officer Slam. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. I really do. But yeah, those are that's my thoughts and my views on uh, the Spring Valley High um, incident. Yeah. Yeah, peace out.